Dan Riskin is a biologist who loves getting up close and personal with creatures you might rather do without. He is a host of Monsters Inside Me, that's on Animal Planet, and co-host of Daily Planet on Discovery Canada. His new book celebrates the dangerous and the disturbing. It's called Mother Nature is Trying to Kill You, a lively tour through the dark side of the natural world. It, by the way, is published by Simon & Schuster, which, a which is a division of CBS. Dan Riskin, good to see you. Good to be here, thank you for having me. So I found this book. <laughs> Gross, <laughs> disturbing, and fascinating all at the same time. Is that what you wanted us to feel? Well, that's how I feel about the natural world. I'm a biologist. I started on bats, and I started right on vampire bats because they were the dirty ones, and they had these dirty secrets. And to me, it's not about the nice, orderly, you know, beautiful picture. It's those ugly things that are out there that really engage me and get me excited. And it's when you look at those ugly things that you see some of the most beautiful parts of nature that you wouldn't see otherwise. And what are the dirty secrets of vampire bats? Well, vampire bats, my PhD was on how they move on the ground and most people you know they, they like the cute bats but for me the vampire bats were neat and I looked at how they crawl and I discovered that they can run I found out that they have a running gait that no other bat has and that was sort of like a, a little light went off for me that if you look at the dirty places you might find beautiful beautiful yeah. unexpected things and so this book sort of expands that beyond the bats where I started to just all the things in nature that I could find that I think are just disgusting and great and beautiful that no, really would turn He admits, on. guys, that he has an obsession with bats, so much so that his <laughs> wife, lovely, Shelby Must Love You, drove four hours to lay down on the ground, look under a bridge for four hours looking for bats. Yeah, I yeah, don't get it. That's but well. <laughs> this is what I like. There's, there's an animal, act of kindness, you call it. Antichinus. Okay, antichinus who will literally die for sex. Yeah, so these are, they're like, they look like mice. They live in Australia, they're super cute. And what's incredible is these little males are just heroes in bed. I mean, like sting, <laughs> tantric, incredible. They can last during copulation for six to 12 hours. How is which, that good? How, well, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Six to twelve hours. What is good about? But go ahead. Well, go ahead, I, you know, to, to each their own, I guess. The ants kind of seem to like it. Um, but but yeah. what's incredible? Yeah, Charlie's like Anne. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Well, okay. the, the, the dark I side. I high five you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go well, ahead. So I, going in, I thought that was the good part. But it turns out there's a, an even worse part than that, which is that the males, to get enough energy to do this, release so much stress hormones mm -hmm. that they die at the end of mating season. Yeah. Every single male of the entire species is dead at the end of mating season. And they've done experiments where they, where they clip the males so that they don't produce those hormones, and, and they're fine. If the males can't mate, they'll live what's, just fine. What's the bio biological explanation for that, then? The only thing that matters to a biological organism is passing on its DNA. And the competition between those males is so intense that unless they're willing to play with that high stakes game, they don't get to have their DNA in the next generation. So mating is actually just as important to an organism as living I itself. just want to get quickly, just what are some examples of extreme sibling rivalry? There is a shark called a uh, sand tiger shark and she has babies inside her and the first one that's oldest will hatch and swim around inside her and eat its and siblings. Eat sibling. wow. yes. Yeah, so, so that's gross. pretty bad. You have yeah. snowy owls yeah, where, where the oldest will beat up its younger siblings and always take the food from mom when she comes back to feed him and, and beat up the younger siblings. And only when he gets enough food does anybody else get to eat. And this is, and, and they let the, the siblings die. Can you please come talk to my kids' class? <laughs> no, well, they can read the book. Laura. I'm serious. No, they're too young. You have or they to come can watch talk. Daily Planet. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, Dan Riskin. Thank you so much. And Mother Nature is Trying to Kill You goes on sale today.